Hello, Jenny. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Good. Today you are better? Hello. Yes. Ah, okay. Today you're in your house. Yes. <laughs> is is rainy? No. No. Okay. I heard in many places of El Salvador that it's raining. Yes. Okay. So tell me a little bit about your day. How was it? Uh, I I was with my, I was with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, with my brother and my two niece. Okay. And my mother, I we we are going to. To join. Did you go to the beach? Did you go to a restaurant? What? Uh, uh -huh. No, in the house, in the south, south we eat. We had the dinner together. Okay. Ah, so you already had dinner. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. And did you cook? Yes, <laughs> I cook. Okay. Do you like to cook, Jenny? Yes, I like. Yes. What is your favorite thing to cook? Uh, I like to cook chicken, fish, tortillas, hey. pupusas. Wow. Okay. So, do you make your your own uh your own pupusas? Yes, I like to to. Do pupusas? Make pupusas? Mm -hmm. Make or do? Make. Make. Make pupusas. Okay. And tortillas. Okay. Hey, that's pretty good because it's a little difficult to make uh, pupusas. You have a lot of work to do. Yes, it's, it's easy. Yeah. It's easy. Okay. Oh, that's good. I see we also have William. Hello, William. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm having dinner now. Ah, okay. I'm <laughs> sorry. No problem. No, no, no. En enjoy it because, you know, it's a little late when the class finishes. It's very late to have dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Jenny, William, do you have any yes. questions before uh, we begin the midterm? No, I finished that. Yeah, I, I did it. I have some problem with the midterm and when we we have to write down. Ah, uh, yes, because in the writing part, always it has to be very specific. Yeah. And I didn't get it. Uh, but don't worry. Anyway. We're going we're okay. to help you. It's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sure. Hi, Vane. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. What about you? I'm okay. It's okay. I know you have your children. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. She's a little bit curious. <laughs> That's okay. That's good. It's good. That one, she can see her mom learning English. Yeah. She wants to know who, who is him. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the teacher, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. I see we have quite a few people. That's wonderful. So we got several people here. Guys, how is everything? Is that it's okay by your house? I know that in many places it's raining and there's a big storm. It is. Sandra, by you, it's a big storm. No, no, no. Here is it's dry. Okay. Yes. Yeah, by my it was raining by my house, but now, now it's a little bit okay. In San Salvador, do you live in San Salvador? I live in Santa Tecla. Mm. Ah, Santa Tecla. Well, you know that Jenny is in Berlin. And in I, Berlin. I mean, no, no, no. 
No, 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 para quién, para quién. Ah, aquí. ok. Corazón. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Jenny, and there is is raining there, Jenny? No. Huh? No. Oh. So That's in Perkin, it's almost like nothing happened. <laughs> no, I, I'm in San Salvador. Oh, you're in San Salvador? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, I didn't know that you were here. I thought, uh, so you're not in Perkin? No, I, my, my family, my mother, my father, I live in Marasan. Okay. So sometimes you go to visit them? Yes, sometimes. Okay. All right. Well, it's great that everybody's here. I know that many people already started to do the midterm. Some people were able to do it. Some people haven't started yet. It's okay. And we're going to take a few moments. We're going to work with our partners and try to discuss it and see if you can come up with a better idea with each other. For this, we're going to take, um, let me show you the screen in case you don't know how it is. Um, the midterm is is not that many. It's not like uh, you would think. It's not a lot of questions. It's a lot of information to make sure that you understood. So in the midterm exam, you can see it's really more about selections, number one through eight, it's multiple choice. Well, number three through eight is multiple choice. Number one and two, you have to write in the correct information, okay? Mm -hmm. And then here in numbers 10 to 12, uh, all you have to do is choose which one. So it's mainly multiple choice, but we have four questions where you have to write. Think three, uh, number nine, number one, and number two. So with your partners, you're gonna check, you're gonna do it, and then we're going to give you the answers in case it's not clear, so that you and your partners are able to make sure that you answer it correctly and correct any mistakes that you have. Before we begin the midterm, are there any questions? Sandra, well, did you have a question? Well, I had a question because uh, I wrote a uh, gist. Um, no, I'm sorry, sorry. Gist content and gist purpose questions. Those are the two types that we have seen, but the, the, the platform says that it was wrong. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't understand why because you know uh, we have learned just content and just purpose questions. Yes, those, in, those in, are correct. Those are the two that we have seen. Uh huh. And and why <laughs> the platform says is wrong? Well, super easy. It's for the spelling. It's for the structure. Mm, anyway, well. Mm -hmm. Remember, the platform is not a person. The platform is a computer, and it has to have the character exactly the way that is inputted by a human. Oh, my God. Just like <laughs> a Dewey, right? If you make a mistake with a Dewey, it's a, it's a different person. It doesn't exist. Yeah. So with one character, if you put a space, and the Dewey is supposed to be the birth date is four years in the system, and you put two years, it's not correct because it has mm -hmm. to be exactly like the system says. Mm -hmm. It's more for interpretation. Yeah. So don't worry, the answer is right. It's just the way that you wrote it that is incorrect. And I'm going to help you today after we practice with our partners. Okay, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> of course, of course. All right, guys. So we're going to make groups of three. Before we begin, hay alguien de oyente? Anybody? I ask because sometimes the people in the groups don't want to participate and we want to make sure. No? Okay, so everybody's participating today, all right? Remember, mm -hmm. if you are only listening, change your name. Change your name. So if you are only listening, write oyente. And then we everybody knows that you have problems or something happened and you can't participate. That's the most important part. Okay, let's make our groups and let's go for it. Uh, we're going to have a few minutes for it to complete the exam. It's only, as I mentioned, 12. So we're going to have 15 minutes. It's enough. 
multiple choice writing discussion and then we check and make sure that it's correct and after that we practice some more listening test okay The number one, I did it. Mentioned the two types of listening question we have gone over in this course. Yes, I have some problems with this. this geese, answer. the answer is geese and purpose question. Yeah, I already read it, but. Geese. the screen <clears throat> okay no problem i am turning on my computer to share my screen because currently I am with my cell phone. Inference, question. Imply, infer, suggest. Imply, infer, and suggest. There are three, yes. three, yes. Right. Right. And number three, type of question, number of question. Skinning and yes. uh, scanning are types which will help you overcome the city, the challenge. Yes. Challenge. Okay. Listen and reading. Yes, for me it's reading is correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. And what does the reading test may mention? Mention. Mention. Your ability to understand academic I don't know how to, let's see, where, where, where? Oh, well, maybe we can ask teacher to help us. <laughs> Tell me because I, I have what never, happened? I, I, um, we're having some, some issues because um, only Sandra can share the screen, but she doesn't know how to do it. Maybe um, you yes, can help I us. I don't know how to do it. Sandra on the bottom is going to, in your screen, there's going to be a little green button. It's going to say compartir pantalla. Compartir No, over here doesn't say anything. When you have Zoom, you are in Zoom, correct? Yes, I'm in Zoom. And and you see the screen. Let's see. I can't see. I can't. Okay. What's the matter? What's the matter? It's okay, Sandra. Do you see on the bottom? It says silenciar, deten eh, participante, mm -hmm. chatear, compartir. Do you see all of those things on the bottom? <sighs> Opciones. No. Es me, es que me sacó. Esta cosa y I can't, I can't come back to the, my dear. Your oh in Zoom, okay. In tu pantalla, I can ves, Sandra? No, no, no. I can see my pan, my my screen. I can't. I can't see it. So your screen, your screen is black. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Over here. Oh, yes, now, right now. Uh -huh. Okay, now it says red curl share screen on oh, the green one. Okay, let's see. Hmm, let's see. Oops. Oh, no. Do you see the green button? Yes. Can you see? Yes, Sandra. You okay? Yes, there it is. Yes, Sandra. There it's it correct. Is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, it. you see, no problem, Sandra. <laughs> yeah, it is. Over there it is. <laughs> Yay. Oh, but you already did it. <laughs> yes. Evelyn, Jarvin, are you having some problems? Okay, Evelyn and Jarvin. Question. What do you say? Uh, the question nine. Nine. Yes, I have a mistake. I don't know why. Yes. Your ability to understand spoken English. <laughs> The other? No. It's similar, but change the first word. Is measure? Let me see. Yes. Measure. Your ability. Yes. To understand. To understand. Talking English. Okay. The others, I believe. Yes. Catherine, did you say anything? I don't know. I. Yes, and I have the mistake in the first question because I don't know. The first? I wasn't sure. Yes, because in the first question, only write the just just the yes, capital letter capital letter yes yes and i have a, a mistake with this yes no period okay <laughs> with my I will share my screen no I can it's measure your ability to understand spoken English no no it uh, measures uh, in no. the capital letter or only to, to, all in in sing capital letter without capital letter letter. Okay. okay. English without capital letter. Uh -huh. 
-hmm. It measures your ability to understand. Okay. And the idea is for speaking. Yes, it's for, for the speaking section, as I, as uh, I understand. Okay. Thank okay. you. Uh, and the five the... facts uh -huh. as major ideas, supporting details, and definitions are from. Uh -huh. It's for factual information questions and for oh, uh, negative factual uh, information questions and factual information questions too. Oh, both. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah. In six inference questions, ask you ask you to uh -huh. recognize information explicitly. I'm and sorry. The number five to say that is both. Uh-huh, it's both. Yes, both. Mm -hmm. yeah. The okay, second option. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. And the number six is identify information not plainly stated in the reading passage. Um because oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, because you have you have to like analyze, right? Mm -hmm. We finished. Okay. We finished. Thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Evelyn Jarvin, did you do anything? Evelyn Jarman, do you need any help? Hello, I'm trying to connect using my computer. Ah, okay. So you're having problems with the microphone, Evelyn. Okay. Mm, it's going to be a little difficult. All right. I'll put you with. Yeah, I understand. No problem, Evelyn. And Jarvin, I'll send you to another group. Maybe that way you can be with another one and, and listen to them. We finished, teacher. Excellent. Were there any questions? No. No? No. It was difficult for oh. me this this, but now I I have it. I have it. Okay. The most difficult part is usually the writing because the writing has to be very specific and in, in the format. Yes. But the others are good. All only right. one option, no many options. You have no. only one option. Mm -hmm. Correct. So let's take a look with the other groups. Okay. Okay, I see most groups were able to finish um, and they had, you had the idea. Good. And we're going to check just because I know that some parts were a little bit difficult, like number one and number two. Correct. Remember, the answers were correct. Uh, the type of questions that we have, but it's usually the spelling or the writing that is the biggest mistake. So in number one, it's correct gist and purpose questions or the opposite, purpose and gist questions. These are the two forms that you can write it. You can start with gist 
or you can start with purpose, but it's going to be just and purpose questions in case you didn't write it correctly. And then number two says, type in the three words which are used in inference questions. You can put in different orders, but all of them are in the same words. Imply, infer, suggest, or in different orders. Infer, imply, suggest, or suggest, imply, infer. Okay. It's okay? Uh, yes, sir, it's okay. Good, oh good, just in yeah. case. Yes. All right, good. And then we have number three. What is the type of questions is now the answer was reading. Number four, what does the reading test measure? Your ability to understand academic English. Remember, it's not the same English that we have for conversation. Conversational English is very easy. It's compared to academic. It's common, what do you do? How was your day? Things like that. But mm -hmm. the exams for academic, for university type of classes and things. Number five was both the negative factual and factual information. Okay. Inference questions identify not plainly stated in the reading passage because you have to interpret. Inference questions are the interpretations of what they mean. Yeah. Number seven. Yes, 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 Sandra. Uh, no, 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 it's correct. Uh, okay, it's correct. good, good. Number seven is which words are used for negative? Not, except, okay. Those are the common words that they use. And then information is stated in a small part of the passage. Remember detailed because there is only in a little bit and maybe only one time. And that is the harder part of the listening. Then we have the next answer that is writing. What does the listening section of the TOEFL test measure? One, your ability to understand spoken English. And number two, it measures your ability to understand spoken English. These are the ways that you can write in the answer. That is repeated teacher. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's only yeah. one, but uh huh. your ability to understand spoken English. Yes, of course. And then numbers 10, the type of questions they ask you to identify the main topic is the gist. And this is usually you're going to listen a couple of times because it's the main idea. And then you're going to hear others one time because those are the details. Okay. So remember, anytime you hear mainly, mainly about, mainly discuss, the uh, the purpose of the lecture, this is going to be gist. All of those yes. are going to be gist, which means you're going to have a good opportunity to listen many times. But when you have to listen for uh, one specific information, that is going to be the details. All right. And the last one. To define the main purpose of the conversation or lecture, this belongs to, of course, just purpose questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. Everybody was able to correct if they had any mistakes or any spelling. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Great. So now that we did the academic portion of it, now we're going to do the practice portion of it. Remember yesterday we did our first practice of listening. So now we're going to do our second practice of listening. We learn, now we're going to apply all of the different things. Listen to part of a lecture. We're going to listen to part of a lecture. We're going to remember, if you want to take notes, try to start uh, with your partner. We can share the screen. You can share the audios together. And once the listening finish, you have a specific amount of time uh, to answer the questions, which is three minutes and 30 seconds, plus the time from there, okay? So in total, we're going to have, for this activity, we're going to have nine minutes for you and your partners. Well, we'll put 10 minutes just to be sure for you and your partners to be able to complete the listening sections, okay? Where can you find the information? The link is in the chat. Please open it up before we make our groups. That way it doesn't disappear when you make your groups. 
Okay. Start. Does everybody have the link? Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, when we finish this this exercise and uh, and then uh, we need to um fill general uh, fill 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 out uh, some information about we our about my correct uh, my my identity edit edit edit. <laughs> Correo, my no. identification, yes. No, it's not necessary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, it's not necessary. Only they offer it as a website, but it's not necessary. Okay. You can always see the information and the results at the end. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. Well, then let's begin with our partners. Remember, if you want, share the screen, listen to the audios together or independent, however you feel more comfortable, and then answer the questions. But I think um, I'm okay because I was having, in the first uh, group, I having issues to connect, but I, but can you hear me clearly? In the first group, in the, in the first exercise, we did the middle term. Ah, but yeah. Now, yeah, but now I don't know because my, the internet eh, se salió. <laughs> Uh, I think we are because it's because it's raining. I think we it's not it's not working properly. I, I don't I don't understand this is an exercise because I I didn't hear. Jenny Evelyn, if yes. you if you want, I can put you into other groups if you're having some difficulties, and that way you can listen and participate in the other groups. Do you want to go to other groups? Yes. Yes? Okay, I will put you into another group, Jenny, and then also Evelyn. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. America and Anna were actually connected. The air from around the equator could travel south to heat up the chilly Antarctic waters. The warm tropical waters could also flow southwards, bringing the rich biodiversity along with it. Southern Ocean? I'm glad you asked. That was actually my next point of interest. So, about 30 million years ago, the water in that area was a lot warmer than it is today. Way back then, South America and Antarctica were actually connected. The air from around
Okay, I'm going to share my screen. In case somebody needs a little bit of information, we're going to get ahead so that you can see the intro to the speaking. Welcome to our speaking section. In this section, we will go through challenges of speaking, about the speaking section, a type of question, speaking practice. One of the biggest challenges about speaking is timing. Becoming fluent will help you deal with it. Fluency refers to speaking with accuracy and natural speed. The speaking section of the TOEFL test measures your ability to convey ideas. Your response should demonstrate effective use of grammar and vocabulary. It should be well-developed and coherent. We're now going over the speaking section. We'll go over independent questions one and two. So in the next few minutes, we're going to look at how the questions are structured, what they ask, some tips you may take into account, response features, as well as what you will be evaluated on. Finally, we'll also look at a sample question. So here is generally what the questions will look like and how they are structured. For both questions one and two, Sometimes you will be given a topic to speak about with additional reading or listening passages. You will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what the independent speaking questions will be asking you to do. Question one. Question one will ask you to speak about a person, place, object, or event that is familiar to you. Here's an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. In question two, you will be presented with two situations or opinions. You will be asked which you prefer and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. Now here are some tips for how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, use the preparation time to organize your thoughts and maybe write down some notes. Don't try to write a full response because you won't have time. Don't memorize responses. Memorize responses will lower your score. They sound different and the content is different. Also take into account that you need to speak naturally and use common connection words and phrases, such as because, so, after that, on the other hand, I want to mention what this means is, these features in your response will help you get a better score. Have a clear and fluid speech. Have good pronunciation, natural pace. You will also be evaluated on delivery. Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Language use. This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. And third, topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question, how clearly you express your ideas and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow. Daniel, are you having problems connecting? Daniel?
quickly to pass to free eye crystal in their bodies are prevent from growing large enough to harm them. Okay. And remember especially. <clears throat> Mm. Find out how about speak. Ask the Okay. How did you feel? There were problems with the uh, communication in the connection there. Mm -hmm. uh, the the other the, the my partners couldn't hear all the all the passage. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is very important because when you take the exam, you have the two options to take the exam online or take the exam in person. And you have to know how your house is. You have to know your connection. If you take this exam online, these are some of the problems you're going to have when you do the exam online. <clears throat> That's why you have to, right now is practice. But imagine if this is the real exam, there is no what? excuse. You have bad connection is your problem. Do you have to pay again and do the exam again? Or do you have to try to guess or whatever? So it's important. It, it doesn't matter to me if you want to do the exam online or in person. But it's important for you to know the difficulties of doing the exams online. Yes. Okay. Any questions? No, at this moment. Okay. Were you able? I saw most groups did not finish. Was there any group that was able to finish? No. No, right? So okay. this is an this is another problem. Remember, you have to watch the time. It's your responsibility. No, ah, I see Guerrero, lo voy a ignorar. It's the time. Finish the time, finish the time. The exam finish. The exam block you in the real exam. The exam, hasta aquí llegó, and you didn't answer, you didn't answer. Oh. This is another part of managing your time. It's not about if you understand or you don't understand. Remember, the exam is how quickly and efficiently you can answer. Your goal is to get points. Your goal is to get as many points as possible. If this, you don't know, you don't know. Select whatever and go to the next and try to get the next points. That is the most important. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to do more practice, but that's the idea. The idea is to make sure that it's clear and we understand. Okay. You ready for one more practice? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. So now... Try to focus in two things. Remember, the important is focus in your time and focus in trying to get as many points as possible. Try to make the analysis. Okay, this one I don't know, but the, maybe the next one, yes. So in each group, we're going to go back to the same groups. Here is the new link. There is the link. Open the link. Make sure you have access. I'm going to give you a few more minutes because I saw that most groups almost, almost finish with two, three more minutes. I almost you finish, but it's okay because we are in practice, but in the real exam, remember you don't have extra time, only the specific time that the exam gives you. So try to watch your time. If you see the time finish 
I want you to understand all of the answers after in the real exam, you don't have any points. If the in the real exam, the time finished, whatever you answered today, you wouldn't get those correct. So try to watch your time. Remember, the listening is the same for everyone, the same listening. So try to take notes and pay attention carefully. Okay, one more time. Yes, one more yes. time. All right, let's try it one more time. Sometimes it's a little hard the first time, but the second time it's easier. Vanessa, Daniel. We're now going over the speaking section. We'll go over independent questions one and two. So in the next few minutes, we're going to look at how the questions are structured, what they ask, some tips you may take into account, response features, as well as what you will be evaluated on. Finally, we'll also look at a sample question. So here is generally what the questions will look like and how they are structured. For both questions one and two, Sometimes you will be given a topic to speak about with additional reading or listening passages. You will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what the independent speaking questions will be asking you to do. Question 1. Question 1 will ask you to speak about a person, place, object or event that is familiar to you. Here is an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. In question two, you will be presented with two situations or opinions. You will be asked which you prefer and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. 
Now here are some tips for how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, use the preparation time to organize your thoughts and maybe write down some notes. Don't try to write a full response because you won't have time. Don't memorize responses. Memorize responses will lower your score. They sound different and the content is different. Also take into account that you need to speak naturally and use common connection words and phrases such as because, so, after that, on the other hand, I want to mention what this means is these features in your response will help you get a better score. Have a clear and fluid speech. Have good pronunciation. Natural pace. You will also be evaluated on delivery. Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Language use. This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. And third, topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question, how clearly you express your ideas, and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow. We're now going over the speaking section. We'll go over independent questions one and two. So in the next few minutes, we're going to look at how the questions are structured, what they ask, some tips you may take into account, response features, as well as what you will be evaluated on. Finally, we'll also look at a sample question. So here is generally what the questions will look like and how they are structured. For both questions one and two, Sometimes you will be given a topic to speak about with additional reading or listening passages. You will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what the independent speaking questions will be asking you to do. Question 1. Question 1 will ask you to speak about a person, place, object or event that is familiar to you. Here is an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. In question two, you will be presented with two situations or opinions. You will be asked which you prefer and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. Now here are some tips for how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, use the preparation time to organize your thoughts and maybe write down some notes. Don't try to write a full response because you won't have time. Don't memorize responses. Memorize responses will lower your score. They sound different and the content is different. Also take into account that you need to speak naturally and use common connection words and phrases such as because, so, after that, on the other hand, I want to mention what this means is these features in your response will help you get a better score. Have a clear and fluid speech. Have good pronunciation. Natural pace. You will also be evaluated on delivery. Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Language use. This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. And third, topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question, how clearly you express your ideas and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow. We're now going over the speaking section. We'll go over independent questions one and two. So in the next few minutes, we're going to look at how the questions are structured, what they ask, some tips you may take into account, response features, as well as what you will be evaluated on. Finally, we'll also look at a sample question. 
So here is generally what the questions will look like and how they are structured. For both questions one and two, sometimes you will be given a topic to speak about with additional reading or listening passages. You will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what the independent speaking questions will be asking you to do. Question one. Question one will ask you to speak about a person, place, object, or event that is familiar to you. Here's an example. Talk about a pleasant and memorable event that happened while you were in school. Explain why this event brings back fond memories. In question two, you will be presented with two situations or opinions. You will be asked which you prefer and you need to explain your choice. Here's an example. Some people think it is more fun to spend time with friends in restaurants or cafes. Others think it is more fun to spend time with friends at home. Which do you think is better? Explain why. Now here are some tips for how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, use the preparation time to organize your thoughts and maybe write down some notes. Don't try to write a full response because you won't have time. Don't memorize responses. Memorize responses will lower your score. They sound different and the content is different. Also take into account that you need to speak naturally and use common connection words and phrases, such as because, so, after that, on the other hand, I want to mention what this means is, these features in your response will help you get a better score. Have a clear and fluid speech. Have good pronunciation, natural pace. You will also be evaluated on delivery. Your speech needs to be clear and fluid with good pronunciation. The pace or speed of your speech should be natural and you should have good sounding intonation patterns. Language use. This is mainly how you use grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. And third, topic development. This is mainly how fully you answer the question how clearly you express your ideas and how you can connect one idea to the next in a way that is easy to follow. Okay, so as you can see, when we're doing our listening, it's very important to have many things in mind. We're now go We're going to take a look right now and see how it is. Okay, so now we have a little bit more practice, more ideas. We're starting to get used to how the exam is structured. Now you can see that the exam is going to have many of the same types of questions. It's going to be main idea questions. It's going to be the gist, main idea. And then there's going to have uh, detailed, specific information that we need. Now, always is going to be a little bit different, but the exam is structured in that format, that type of vocabulary, that type of voice, and that organization. Are there any questions about part one reading or part two listening and for the exam? No. 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 Remember, if you want to get a better score, I recommend reading more academic articles watching more academic videos is not the same Netflix to relax than it is to watch about science, astronomy, physics, uh, biology, nature, because those are the types of questions that are going to be there. Okay. How did you feel in the second exam? Did you feel that you were able to complete it better? Yes, it was yes. funny. <laughs> right? And like I said, it's only with practice. This is the only difference. The difference is, is the same type of question. The only difference is in the first, you feel the pressure. I, I, I don't know. The same like in the pies. Jefferson? 
Uh, yes, I have a question, but it's about the TOEFL test. If mm -hmm. we take the test on site, how can we take notes? For example, I watched that, that we can take notes while we are listening the audios, but if we are on site, how can we do it? Um, there's the only way that you can take notes is by writing on the table uh, that you have or the answer sheet. So it's more difficult because on site, you are not allowed to have an additional piece of paper. Oh my God. All the notes have to be in your head. No sheet. No, no piece of paper. Nope, no sheet of paper. Mm. Oh. Okay. It's uh -huh. more difficult. Yeah. Exactly. So you have to measure more problems with technology, but more possibility to take notes. On site, less problems with uh, technology, but no possibility to take notes. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you guys so much. Repitiendo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you so much for connecting. On okay. Monday, we're going to begin section three. So yes, sir. have a great night and great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.